I'm gonna painting this lady as light and shadow, just like we are painting anything else. Let's do a very quick drawing. I'm gonna take a look. This is the biggest shape. Always think about the biggest shape. Coming all right. the way over here, right? Coming down, coming down over here. And the bottom over here is right over here. It's just, just right a little bit higher than if you connect the outside. This is, will be one third. So right. like I that. Think that. this way, just take care of one thing at a time. So you're not taking care of the multiple things. It's one thing. Okay, here you go. Like that. Coming here. Here you go. Now we just need to draw out. This is also a part of the measuring, but we measure it based on the, the larger shape. Just take care of the base tone of the light side. So, okay, the nose over here, that side. So that's quite a bit of yellow. So if you want, you can make a little bit orange color. And that, uh, so all I try to do is to make sure that the uh, highlight, keep the highlight for the neck. And over here, I can make the whole neck to be just a little bit darker. How dark the shadow of the head would be. That's very important to make that. Does it have to go darker? And think about the value and get a little yes, bit more yeah. red. And this dark enough. Okay. And then thinking about the, uh, the warm and cool. I think this is about dark enough for that but there's a little bit too much purple. So I'm gonna get a little bit yellow and red into it. So, okay. And then still remain the uh, the right value. So I'm gonna take that a little bit more yellow and that's just about the color, but it's very similar. So similar in the value. So making sure this is just the shadow. is look dark enough. So this, it could be add a little bit more yellow. If you think about a little bit more yellow, add a little bit more yellow, but don't make it too. Uh, so even though anything in the shadow over here, and it still need to be dark, okay? It doesn't, now I'm gonna come in over here, take a little side, and that's good. And then coming all the way onto this side. Okay, here we go. Coming over here. So making sure this is dark enough and you can change the color. That's just no matter. Uh, doesn't really matter much and change the color, but the value had to be remain. And the ear can be a little bit darker coming over here and they're getting dry and very quick. So we're not, we ignore the, the hand for now. And so now this is there is that immediately you create a difference between right. this and I'm going to go further from here, get the blue and the red. I'm gonna work into the, the hair. Also think about the value. So it's only this two color and putting over there, make it, it a little bit softer like that. And this is glowing out a little bit darker. Now see it, take a look out over here. Also a little bit darker. So think about, okay, never even think about their, um, uh much about uh the details okay here we go now i'm gonna have this a little bit in the intermediate i'm gonna have this make a little bit softer that it connected glowing outside over here the same thing over here have a little bit intermediate and glowing and also the bottom over here it can be a little bit darker shadow now uh the reason we're not doing the shadow uh, of the face uh, earlier because of, you know, that we don't want the, the base is still wet, the paper is still wet. Right? Right. So now I'm going to use uh, this smaller brush now coming over here. Now I'm ready to painting on it, the shadow. Okay, make sure that the screen eye to see how dark the shadow would be. I think this is the color and a little bit red and this dark enough. I think this, the whole thing, and this area is not really big. So this brush could be okay. And now I'm gonna looking at just the whole thing over here, coming down and maybe a little bit more blue. So take a little blue color in here. Let's think about, and now coming down right here, you see, 
this already dry. Now take a look at here. And mm -hmm. it just make it so easy for us to uh, manage the top level before a little bit lower. And then take a look at this, just the shape of this. I'm going to put this in. Okay, here you go. Now I'm going to just put the flat color right in here. And now down over here, you have a little bit more orange, Nick, a little bit uh, fresh. Just get a little bit red and yellow. Mm -hmm. Now see this right here. Okay, coming around here. Look at the shape coming around on the side of the face. That's mm -hmm. including yeah. this side and merge that in the outside. Now, when you're coming over here, we're going to have a little bit more red. You can see a little bit more red or a little bit darker, a little bit more like a brownish color on the yeah. side over here. Now I'm going to put this in. Okay. And have that a little bit darker color. So don't put much water. In. Otherwise, it would look uh, pushed, have texture too much. Okay. That's good. And uh, we can define the edge a little bit later. We need to continue with that and see how how dramatic when you're looking at this. So now I'm going to have a little bit more yellow color because down over there, have a little bit more cooler. So take your time, mix the right color. Now I'm going to continue over here, the side over here, make sure that it's coming down. On the side of the nose, you see, this is considered the shadow side. Mm -hmm. There's the whole shadow side. See that right over there. And take a look at the side, the bottom of the nose, also shadow side. And I'm going to see that the whole thing over here coming down. And it looks like a little bit more blue color. And in this, and so you analyze, only analyze that. Uh, nothing else. You need to worry. And don't worry about the mouth because the mouth is part of the shadow. Okay, coming here. Okay, that's good. Now I'm going to, uh, that's just still wet over here. It can be lost a little bit. So now I'm going to come in over here, look at the shape as the measurement. I'm going to come down a little bit over here. Take a look at that shape. It's very much the same color. Okay, a little bit much the same color. Coming to the corner of the mouth and up over there have a little bit variation. So I'm going to have a little bit red, right? You can see a little bit red, but also similar value. Okay, have a little bit red over here because the, the cheek. And coming to the side over here, still part of the shadow. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's still part of the shadow. Now I'm going over here, I'm going to just make a little bit softer. A little bit transition over here. Okay, and now I'm going to continue and don't worry, and we'll keep going down over here to the cheek, and now coming to the neck. You see the neck over here, also the, the shadow. I'm gonna remix the same color. Get this, get some yellow. Make sure it's the value consistent, the mm -hmm. same darkness. And here you go, right here. Now I'm gonna coming up, coming up. You see right under the chin. Mm -hmm. Right there, and over here, and then, yeah, this is good. There's a little bit in the middle over here. Yes, a little bit. Now, somewhere over here, I need to just give it a little bit softer over here, because this cylinder. So I have a little bit softer right there. That's good. A little bit softer over here. Now coming to the other side, and this is perfect. Now it's about right. You take a look at the shape. And coming over here, and coming to the side, right? This is the bottom of the chin. On this side, also shadow. Take a look at the shape. Only think about light and shadow. This, the shape, how the shape will look. And there's another shadow, cast shadow. Maybe you take this color and just put it on the uh, shirt, okay, right here. So I'm gonna come in over here. 
Okay, there's a little bit, still a little bit wet, but could be perfect timing. And I want to make sure that it's a soft transition over there. So that could be a good risk to take. Okay, here you go. And this shoulder, light and shadow. Okay, here you go. Now we're just coming over here. See this, put that, a little big shape over here, a little big shape over here. Okay, here you go, coming up over here. This is pretty light. That's good. Put that color right here. Right there. Okay, and the corner of her mouth. That's right. good. Right there. And see this gradually getting a little bit smaller, but don't need to get onto that too quickly. That, like that. And then a little bit triangle over here. It's still a little wet. You can wait and before you come into that. So a little bit over there. This is good, the shadow over there. And then I'm just going to, I think this is ready. So I'm going to get just a little bit, tiny, tiny, have a little bit darker area. Put it right here. Put a little bit right here. And this whole area is a little bit darker, but it's darker is compared within the shadow, not dark, not with within the whole painting. So, so with this, just a little bit darker inside over there. So just a little water put into that. Let's see a little bit transition. That's good enough. A little bit transition on this side. And this is good. Now I'm going to adding just a little bit, uh, but don't make it like a jump out, uh, out of proportion. Okay, a little bit over here. And a little bit shadow like that. A little bit shadow over there. Look at the corner over here, the shadow. A little shadow come up over here. And, but those are, it's within making sure we see that within the uh, yeah. the shadow as the umbrella at the big shape. Right. Okay. Let's see you go. That's a little, little big shape shape coming in here like that. There's a little bit light shape over there, and here you go like that. There's over here. We have a little bit shape for this side, and this coming in a little bit more on this side. Okay, this is good enough. I'm gonna have a little bit darker color for the eye. There's a little bit, it's still wet. I'm gonna just put it in here. And also put it on this side. A little bit color right here, like that. That is still, still sitting inside the shadow. So don't make it feel like jumping out. Now I'm gonna have a little bit blue color for the eyebrow. So it's still, very, very light. I'm going to have that a little bit here, a little bit over here. Okay. You see the whole thing sitting inside the shadow. That's very crucial. So now I'm going to come to a little bit darker color. Okay. So it's not really hard. The hard part is uh, try to be consistent every time when we are doing the painting, whatever painting that would be. And always keep that in mind that what is the larger relationship and what is the smaller relationship can come a little bit later, right? Okay, like that. And, and now coming to the ear over here and take a look at the ear coming down over here. Now we can read measure. Okay, the ear over here. Okay, here you go, like that. And take the ear on this side. And you can, the size of the face can come in a little bit. That's you don't see the ear. Okay, mm -hmm. now we take a look. I'm gonna have a little bit here. Coming down like that. And here you go. Here you go. There. Like a little here. Now I'm gonna have that little bit more brown color on the top over there. And making sure it's dry because we're laying the wet color on top of that. Now it just put a little bit orange color, like a orange with a little blue, so a little bit more brown. So this need to be part of the 
a gradual transition shadow like that. You can see that. Yes, good. And and this coming over here too, and part of the shadow. Okay, a little bit like that, coming over here. Now I'm gonna have a little bit darker, coming onto this side. Okay, like outside of the ear and inside the ear, you also need to have a little bit darker. Um, okay, this is good. And now I'm gonna take a look at the side of the face. You need to have a little bit uh, contrast to make it feel like, and this, uh, this is not bad already. I'm coming over here, coming in a little bit closer like that. That's good on this side. I can make that coming in a little, little bit closer. Yeah. Okay. And the ear can overlay a little bit red color, right? Now, gradually, it looks fine. I'm going to come in to the side over here. You can see this is the bottom. And I have a little bit darker color like that. And think this, this is good over here. And this side is good. And shadow over here is good and over here can make it a little bit darker now i'm also going to mix it a little bit okay on the top over here i'm going to take a little bit brown color i'm going to have a little bit more uh blending can i have a little bit wrinkle if i need to okay like this yeah but you see the whole shadow you don't have to do too much after and so i'm also going to put a little red before i forget in the ear can I just a little bit warmer? So make a little bit red. That's it, right? So now I'm gonna have a little bit purple color. So I'm gonna take the blue and take a little red. Okay, okay, it can be a little bit more red. Okay, here you go. Now I'm gonna have this and can be a little bit lighter. So, so you see the color and it's the right color, but it needs to be lighter. So you need to actually have it lighter, even though it's not the right, the same color, but it's just okay. It just have to make sure the value, right? Sometimes mm -hmm. we sacrifice the color for the value. So I'm gonna get the red color mixed into here. Now this color is much darker. So I'm gonna have this. I'm gonna come in over here because this is still a little wet. So I'm gonna leave a little gap. Otherwise it's gonna merge together. I do want to put this shadow color. It's still a little bit too dark. So it looks like very dark. So I'm going to just get the blue color like that. See, this a little bit too dark. I'm going to right. Now you're here. comparing that to her hair, and you can see why it's too dark because yeah. her hair is the darkest. Yeah. So you have to make sure it's in a hierarchy uh, right. relationship. Okay. And that's good. Coming over here. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Use this color. And here you go. I can add the red on top of that. Okay, here you go. Now I'm going to have this coming down like this and even a little bit lower if I need to. I'm going to have that like that. And I'm going to have the red color in. And here you go. Okay. Mm hmm and some red color right here but it's need to be part of the shadow okay let's have some variety i'm going to soften that a little bit if you'd like to learn more how to paint lion shadow on portrait come to join us in our upcoming 10-week workshop in the fall if you like this kind of video please subscribe and turn on notification i will looking forward to see you in our next lesson